what's up Nerdgasm fans, Jerry here aka Barnacles, and today we are going to change out the filament on my Ultimaker 3D printer. Now this is the first roll of filament that I've gone through and you guys know I've printed just a crap load of stuff, especially a lot of upgrades for the printer itself. And instead of taking the hassle of having like rerun the wire up through the feeder and down through the tube to the head and all that stuff, I decided to try a little trick I found online. And that's where you basically melt the end of one spool to the, or basically the start of one spool to the end of the other. So you basically just keep it continuous. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that in this video right now. All right, well, first we're going to start off by selecting a roll of PLA. And here I have one roll of orange and one roll of silver. I'm going to go ahead and just go with the silver over here because that's what I already have in the printer. And I figure that'll make for the best continuous print. Otherwise, I'm going to end up with like a calico or multicolored print, which, hey, if that's what you're after, this is a good method. All right, so now we know which PLA we're going to use. We're gonna, so we're going to take off the old roll right here, as you can see. I only have a couple feet left on it. And I'm going to go ahead and unravel it off of the reels and basically throw away the little spindle. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and take the excess and just put it right back on the spindle where I took it from. You can see there's only a couple of feet on there. All right, so here's the new spindle I have. You can see I already cut off the tip and uh, unraveled a little bit of it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to find the tip of the old stuff right here. You can see it's kind of bent over where it was held onto the spool. And we need to clean up both tips just cutting them off with a pair of scissors. All right, here we have the man cave shears. These ought to do the trick. So we just want to go ahead and grab and cut, cut the end off just like, you know, just a little bit so that you got a nice, clean, straight, straight end on both wires. Stuff's pretty easy to cut. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to take the ends and we're going to put them together and heat them up and then merge them. All right, now that you have your filament stabilized, go ahead and put them end to end and take your lighter. I'm just using a candle lighter here and heat up the bottom first. I found that this helps get it, get it nice and warm. You don't want to keep the flame on it because it will catch fire. This shit goes up like a Presto log. So go ahead and get it nice and warm. You can see it's starting to mushroom out a little bit and that's a good time to start heating up the second part and push it into it. And you can see it'll form like a little blob. You want it to be incorporated really good. So now wait for it to cool down for just a couple seconds. And then what you're going to want to do is take your fingers and form that blob while it's still malleable here. So kind of get in there and make sure it's not too hot before you touch it. And then go ahead and just pinch it and kind of form it with your fingers. It doesn't have to be perfect. So just get it, get it pretty good there. You kind of get the idea. And then it takes a while to solidify. So go ahead and continue to let it cool once you've got it, you know, pr pretty well and good. So here you can see I got some kinks in it, so I need to pull on it. And there you go, pretty straight. All right, so now the last step you wanna do is take a file. It can be like a nail file, or here I just have like a regular file from my toolbox. And uh, go ahead and, and file down the edges. So if there's a little bit of a knob, and there might be, like when you push the two together, it might form like a little spear or a blob, or it might be a little uneven. Just take the file and work on the edges until you get it like relatively flat and, and roughly the same diameter as the rest of the filament so that it won't have a problem feeding through the system. And then once you get it to a point, and I kind of did a shitty job, my apologies here, but it still worked just fine when I ran a print through it. But, uh, you know, go ahead, take your time. It honestly doesn't take that long and file it down and get it nice and neat. And that way you won't run into problems later. All right, and the final step is just wind the excess back onto the spool, and you can see there's my connection where I welded the two together um, because there wasn't much on there, and stick the reel back on, and you're good to go. Your Ultimaker at this point is ready to continue printing, and you didn't have to stop anything. You didn't have to purge the tube. You didn't have to purge the nozzle. You didn't have to do any of that stuff. This is like the greatest, simplest solution ever, and this will work on any printer that prints in PLA. All right, guys and gals, looks like the Ultimaker is back up and running and I'm ready to start printing again. So make sure you watch some of my other printing videos. And uh, before I end this video, I kind of want to go back to that whole flammable PLA thing. So let me give you a little demonstration of what I found out. All right, so here we have the Ultimaker robot. This is one of the little printouts I had, and I'm trying to set fire to it using a lighter. And this is absolutely no disrespect to Ultimaker whatsoever. This was just a scrap that I had around from calibrating the printer, and I wanted to test it out. But as you can see, I can't set it on fire. It melts, and you see it kind of fizzle, and I keep continuously trying to set it on fire, and nothing really happens. It just melts and smolders and bubbles, and uh, you can see it actually stands up against open flame pretty well. Um... But this is the strange thing. It kind of it kind of burned a little bit there, but not much. But really, it's not catching fire. It's just melting. But now let's switch over to a little piece of filament and let me show you what happens. All right, so here's a little piece of scrap that I just had laying around. I went ahead and secured it with a piece of painter's tape. And uh, you can see here I'm heating up the filament. 
And let my camera skills kind of suck there. And it just kind of smolders a little bit, kind of like the robot. But I heat it up just a little bit more. And uh, it does actually catch fire. You can see right there, blue flame. So as you can see, the Ultimaker not only can print 3D models, it can also print candles. <laughs> All right, guys, this I just demoed this because I wanted you to see that it actually is flammable. So make sure you don't heat it up too much when you're trying to bond them together. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. It helps me a bunch. Also, come follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I love interacting with you guys.